All my life, all I ever did was try I'm just And all my life, all I ever did was try What's going on? It's Andy Minio. Thanks for joining me at my creator sessions. Uh, we're going to hang out. We're going to play some music. I'm going to share with you the stories of how I made these records and all of the crazy little insights I found along the way. I'm trying to manage my anxiety and my fear as I was working against the timeline. How my frustrations ended up becoming some of my best creative tools. How I was afraid that I wouldn't be valuable if my music wasn't blowing up on TikTok. How we just make art and the listeners the Determine what the hits are and the pressures taken off of us. There's a lot of things in here uh, that I think you can take with you on your creative journey. So stick around, enjoy yourself right here on Creator Sessions. With the seat, lean way back, beat in the back. I got baggage, it ain't unpacked. I got things that I can't take back. Words that I tell myself way worse than the ones when they attack. Now, one thing I know is for certain, I'm gonna ruin everything, trying to make it perfect. My whole life I've been searching. For protection, show the blemish, go to exit, no affection, show the love, don't finesse it, flesh and blood, not the weapon, load it up, get the message, load it up, get the Wesson, rolling up, codependent. And all my life, all I ever did was try, I'm just... And all my life, all I ever did was try... I'm just... Uninspired, under fire, now somebody's getting fired Terrified, paralyzed, Twitter game verified Married life, very far. understand I'm on demand Under man, son of man, a son of Sam I'm somewhere in between the two, been meaning to Spend the evening, be with you, oh I know I need it too Do I believe? I believe I do On my faith walk, took that cynic, I mean the scenic route Getting lost, I be aloof, Adidas on, still need a boost What was the eating fruit? I'll ask him When I see him, daily bread that's per diem But I'm fasting like a beam Riding past you in a PM In a stolen car that's fleeing from the scene Of a crime, Apollo Creed In his prime, Rocky verses I'm a person that's trying to believe I'm worth it I'm working through it But work is well work, but well worth it This hella church is still Hell is working fine What's that tell us, fellas hurting It's like melanin, a crime That's the elephant we hide Truthfully, we probably lied Rather have a tribe than unity So you and me divide I'm hellish and divine I'm trellis and the vine I'm telling me I'm fine I'm fine but I know better All I, all I want is clarity, clarity Cause all of my heroes are frauds Just like me, or just like me So let every man be a liar Let only God be true And all of your heroes are frauds Just like you I can't see through that smoke in her That's that smoke in her That's that smoke in her That's that smoke in her I can't see That's that smoke in her The value of doubt is to keep you open to God's revelations If you don't doubt, you don't change If you have to have finite answers to infinite questions, uh, you're not gonna move. Look, build my life on this. Huh, half my adult life unlearning Lies that I heard in a dumb sermon What I unearthed got me uncertain More knowledge and more sorrow Worrying that never fixed tomorrow Just take away all my strength today It was black and white but now I paint with gray Maybe that cloud that I've been stuck in I constructed, I conducted Orchestra a noise, I don't hear your voice I done made the choice, my consumption The TV, tablet, tweeting, twerking Gramming, gaming, rapping, working Fashion, working, 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 working Can't tell if I My mind had just made it uh, My faith had misplaced it uh, My pain had upgraded 
it Lost my happy thought, then I got jaded Focus in my direction In details and perfection All my faith in white Jesus And my leaders They weren't know I thought all these years They weren't even worthy of tears The opposite of faith ain't doubt It's when I got it all figured out Some days you're getting all my trust Some days I can feel so empty Some days I feel like you love me Some days I feel like you left me The second I'm furious with God, I'm totally close Because you cannot be furious with somebody who's not there all I, all I want is clarity, clarity uh, Cause all of my heroes are frauds Just like me, or just like me So let every man be a liar Let only God be true And all of your heroes are frauds Just like you I can't see, that's that smoke in her That's the smoke in her that's the smoke in her. That's the smoke in her. That's the smoke in the air. So it's 2016, a group of uh, friends and fellow producers, we go to Philly. We find a studio that uh, used to be a church, and it got turned into something very similar to this. And uh, there was some great, great gear in there. It looked very similar to this room, actually. They had like a 100-year-old piano. Um, and they had a old organ somewhere and we were just, we went in there, we said the first thing we're going to do is just jam out because for me, when it comes to creativity, um, most of the time it starts as a hobby for people and then it becomes, if they're lucky, it becomes a job and you know, you can lose some of the fun that, that comes from creating, um, once it becomes, you know, necessary instead of just something this something that you get to do and enjoy. So I always try to keep the fun in creativity. And so we went in the studio, we started jamming out and I put my buddy on the piano. It was a hundred year old piano and we opened up the top of it and we put a blanket over uh, all the strings so that we get this muted sound. And uh, as as I sent the other musicians in, I put one in the corner over here on a guitar, another one over here. And I started feeding them lyrics from the control room and I said hey how about you guys sing how high is too high and so they're jamming and they would say how high is too high and I said sing how far is too far and mind you they're improving this whole thing and they start singing so what happened is we had a 15 minute jam session of these kind of random phrases and lyrics and sounds guitars pianos and the the thing that we started to chop up was this muted piano and it started like this and you can hear all the movement in the background you can actually hear the the sound of the wooden chair and you can hear some of those phrases like how far how far is too far so So we started chopping that up and we had created now a really cool sample. So I take that sample and I say, listen, I'm going to go down to the basement and I'm going to start writing. And so I took this little piano and I went down, I sat in that basement, I tried writing. I sat there for like 15 minutes, couldn't come up with anything. I went upstairs, I had to take a phone call with my manager. I was getting ready to go on tour. I just found out we had to fire somebody. I was feeling all this stress and anger and anxiety because... I felt like my career was at that place where it was starting to take off, but I didn't feel like I had enough manpower around me to help me take it to the next level. So all of these things are happening while I'm trying to write a song. So I go back downstairs and I try writing again and nothing comes out. And so I was trying to be innovative. I was trying to come up with these special, unique flows that no one's ever heard of before. And it got to the point where everything I tried, I hated. I was so overcritical of myself, I, I couldn't enjoy creating anything. I got so angry that I couldn't create, I just started to create out of the anger. And so I said, I'm not leaving this room until I go upstairs with something recorded, and I don't even care if it's the worst thing I've ever written. The point is, just record something. And so I couldn't find any interesting ways to perform, so I just started performing, saying the words that were coming to mind. So I was like, I'm uninspired right now. So the first lyric was uninspired. And I was like, what else? Under fire. 
Now somebody's getting fired, terrified, paralyzed, Twitter game, verified, married life, very fire. Understand I'm on demand, undermanned, son of man, a son of Sam. I'm somewhere in between the two, been meaning to spend the evening, be with you. And so that aggression and anger that came out at the beginning was the thing that springboarded me into actually creating something. And the flow, there's like really no flow. It's just kind of deadbeat, straightforward because I was like, it was a brutalist approach because I was so angry. I just need to put something down. And uh, I didn't necessarily care if it was interesting or unique or flowed, but it ended up being just that. Uh, So my advice to creators is sometimes you're feeling things. There's things happening all around you. uh, And there's these feelings that you have of anger or frustration. No one says that you can't tap into those things, those very things and make a song about it um, or create from it. And so I've learned to just listen better, listen to what's happening around me, what's happening inside of me and create from that and also have the freedom to create something that might not be good. And, you know, I think that's kind of the game we all play. You know, we make a hundred songs and like three of them are good. But uh, yeah, so it led me to record this. Uh, It's a song called Clarity. It was a time in my life where my faith felt like it was falling apart. And um, I found this lady named Madeline Lengel, and uh, she talked about faith in a really interesting way. So I found these vocal samples from her. The value of doubt is to keep you open to God's revelations. And so I sampled her. I put her in the beat as well. And uh, I took my vocal, and I recorded the word air about 30 times. I stacked it, and then I pitched it down, and it made this sound. And so I used all those elements to make this beat, make this song. I hope you enjoy it. Clarity was off of my previous project called The Arrow. Uh, I just dropped a new album called Neverland 2. And uh, this was one of the singles off it featuring my buddy Lecrae. Uh, We had just come off of a crazy year doing a song called Coming In Hot that went viral. Uh, So we were like, let's get in the studio, let's do it again. So it doesn't happen like that, by the way. It's, you know, uh, you can't just go in and make a hit. It, um, one of my friends told me that we, um, we make songs and then the people make hits. You know, they decide what they like, what they want to keep playing back. And so uh, it's funny because every time I've, you know, researched my favorite artists and producers, Pharrell, all those people, they never really know when they have a hit. They just create and sometimes they, they bet on something and it's the wrong one and this is the one that people like. So that actually gave me um, a ton of freedom going back into the studio with Lecrae is knowing that the pressure's off. Um, I don't have to make a hit. I just have to make good songs that I like. And then the people will tell us whether or not they like it. And sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. And if they don't, just go make something else. Um, I found a lot of freedom these last few years. I have two songs that have gone gold, meaning they sold uh, half a million records. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot of pressure that comes with success because you feel like you have to reproduce it or do it again. Um, or some people feel like they have to strive to hit that. Uh, but the reality is if you're creating, you're doing what you love, um, you're making things that you're proud of, and you get to do it for a living is like icing on the cake. But continue to be true to you, authentic to your voice, and creating something that you love and you're inspired by and that you think is dope is really the uh, the victory. And then you let the people decide. So uh, we got back in the studio and we worked on three songs. Uh, this was the only one that came out. Um, we got another one tucked in the cut that might come out later, but this is the one we went with the exact same producer that did Coming In Hot because we were like, you know, of course, let's uh, let's try to rekindle some magic and bring him in the room. And so we he sent us a pack of beats. Uh, we got in the studio, and this was the first one we made day one. I added a little intro sample, this pump up the bass if you're built for this, this little sample right here. Pump up the bass if you're built for me. That's actually my voice, and I put some effects on it. As you guys can tell from the last record in this one, I love affecting and tweaking out vocals, and that's kind of like my signature. So I added that to the beginning of the record. Um, We shot the music video, which is probably my favorite music video to date, and it had um, iconic album covers that we recreated. And what ended up happening was we did that, and we also... uh, when we were making this song, we were like, yo, let's reference all these old school rappers because it kind of has this old school feel to it. 
And in doing so, we found out that we couldn't do that without clearance of all these other people and artists and so on and so forth. So we tried reaching out to them and some of them didn't get back to us. Some of them did get back to us and they wanted a ton of money. And as all of this is happening, my album is being finished. The release date is happening and I'm getting ready to put it out. Uh, so we had to push my album back three different times because we couldn't get clearance for some of the lyrics in this song. And at the last minute, we had to go in studio and rewrite new verses and new lines and replace everything. And uh, while that was happening, it was a super discouraging time because it was a monkey wrench thrown into my art. You know, if you learn how to make lemonade out of the situation, then you typically have a great marketing story or you get to tell, show people the adversity that you overcame and how that became a more compelling part of your art. It ended up becoming this marketing story. We had this secret music video that nobody could see and it made everybody want to see it. So I went out to the streets and I stopped people and I said, hey, watch my music video and then I'm going to film your reaction to it. And that became the music video. So there's always an opportunity in your lack uh, is what I found out for other creatives out there. Sometimes you run into these um, limitations or these roadblocks, and if you look at them from a different angle, a lot of times you can use them to your benefit to tell a cool story. So here it is, Ben About It, off of the new album, uh, Neverland 2. I'm a young man getting what I came for Cause I work hard, I got everything I prayed for Money came fast, so now I take my day slow Me and Cray just like MJG and 8-Ball uh, I just bought her flowers on a weekday Baby, why would I cheat? You my cheat day You a treat, you a snack Fighting with your jeans cause you got it like that Well okay, tell me what y'all fake mad about the day Now nah, I'm straight cause I remember when I ain't have a way On a date, only had enough to pay for matinee Now nah, I'm straight, every morning feeling like a Saturday Well um, they doing nothing, got a lot to say How you never had COVID, you still got no taste Saw a girl I used to date, she pretend we was friends She like, OMG, you know it's been a man Tell me where you been, huh? I've been about it, hey Back up off me, man, it's getting crowded uh, When I'm in Cali, got it in and out it Whole lot of goofies in the spot, so I'm dipping out it Adios, in the gym, getting brolic uh, At the party, we don't bother anybody like that Always kept it solid You know I always kept it solid Riding through the city in the place I dwell Two young fellas in the ATL We never cause trouble when we out in the streets But then, whoo! That's the sound of the police, I was shook, he was shook. But I kept it cool, pulled us over on the shoulder Just to say he dug the tunes Then he let me off with a warning We was on our way 45 in the 50 till I hit the highway Been about it, glory to the father I don't do the drama Went vegan for the weekend Now I'm back to beef and broccoli Sipping sake, practice wabi-sabi I don't need a thotty My girl got that body out of When we walk inside the party They like, OMG, you know it's been a man Tell me where you been, huh? I been about it, yeah Back up off me, man, it's getting crowded Hey, when I'm in Cali, got it in and out it Whole lot of goofies in the spot, so I'm dipping out it In the gym, getting brolic, yeah At the party, we don't bother anybody like Always kept it solid You know I always kept it solid New York City, stand up! I'm in New York, I gotta do the Funk Flex bomb. Hot 97! Been about it featuring Lecrae! Alright, let me, uh. You guys should have never gave me this button. My DJ couldn't be here tonight, so. You're just gonna get a few of these every once in a while. It's just what it is, people. Creator Sessions is brought to you by ConvertKit, the creator marketing platform. And at ConvertKit, we believe that the future belongs to creators like you. That's why we invest in this series. By sharing the more intimate details of the creator journey, we inspire and encourage more creators to follow their passion because creator shape culture and culture shapes the world. So whatever your craft, our creator marketing platform can help you share it with the world. Click the link to learn more about how ConvertKit can help you earn a living online. 
So I loaded up my keyboard with some sound so we could have a, a good time. And the video's in the house tonight. My dad likes to call me from time to time. I have a, a, a strained relationship with him. But he, uh, he, he calls me, and um, sometimes he just starts singing. He leaves me voicemail singing and then just saying weird things. He's like, when are you going to take me on tour? So he's become kind of this tag for me. And the video's in the house tonight. And I just sample them from the voicemails, and we, you know, there's always there's always something sitting around in your peripheries that you can create from. And uh, I've just, you know, I've tried to learn to pay attention to that over the years. Uh, so here's a here's a story of a, a record that is probably my favorite record, or one of them, off of the new album Neverland Two, and it almost didn't come out because I tried about a hundred versions of it, and nothing nothing worked. Well. I was in California. I started working on a project in Malibu. Um, and we spent a week there. And I was like, this is going to be great. I got my favorite producers around. We got the chef. We got a great view. And absolutely nothing came out of that week. Uh, so it felt like a bunch of wasted energy and time and money. And, you know, when you're in, you got a tour planned for the fall, it's like, yo, you got to deliver. You got to be delivering. You got to hit the, the scheduled mark so that we can turn in this product and get you out. That wasn't happening for me. Uh, and so it creates anxiety, which also then locks me up and then stops me from creating. Um, and so I've had to learn this delicate balance of releasing content, but also moving at a pace that is uh, not unhealthy for my, my mind. So... Um, as we were creating that week, I started kicking this freestyle over this sample beat, and I said this phrase that I thought was a phrase that pays, if you will. And uh, I first wrapped it over this sample beat, and it sounded like this. Here's what we not gonna do. Move to L.A., then dye my hair blue. All right, so... I started rapping over that. I liked it. I loved the here's what we not going to do. But I was like, man, this is just so slow. And then I started thinking to myself, oh, no, this will never go viral on TikTok. And if you're not viral on TikTok, do you even matter as an artist? I'm nothing if I'm not on TikTok. So that whole lie began to, you know, run through my mind. And I was like, man, we need something upbeat. We need to, to, the phrase is too strong for it to be slow. So I went and I started making a different beat had hi hats, a lot of a lot more speed, and it sounded like this. Here's what we not gonna do: move to LA, then dye my hair blue. And I threw some drums in it. Okay. And I was like, I don't like that either. So now I'm stuck after like 400 versions because I'm just showing you two, but there's like 20 of each of those. Uh, and so I was stuck, but I still really liked this phrase. It was almost time to turn in the album. And I was like, man, I don't want to give up on this song and these lyrics I wrote. So I called up my buddy, Joseph Solomon. Now this dude has one of the most special voices I've ever heard. And, uh, if you don't know him now, you probably will eventually. So I called him and I said, Hey, why don't you come to the studio? I got this phrase. I'd love to feed it to you and then see what you come up with it. And so he comes in he starts playing his guitar in the studio. And I said, would you mind just singing for me? Now, baby. Now, baby. Just like that. Baby. Yep. Stop. After he did that, I was like, all right, there's something special here. You sound like you're straight out of, like, the 50s. This is like a wild, wild situation. You can play, you can sing. I said, yo, why don't you try this phrase? Here's what we not going to do. And I'll see if I can sample it and make a beat out of it. And then he went like this. Here's what we not going to do. Uh, let, me tell, let me tell you. Because here's what we not going to do. What we not going to do. That's it. Baby. Now, would you mind just riffing a little more? You know, some sounds? Yes. He made that noise, and I said, stop where you are. I need to get to work. 
I took that vocal sample and I started to chop it up and it sounded like this. I looped it back. And then I add a little reverb to it. And I was like, all right, bet, let's put keys on it. After that, of course, hi hats. And then a snare. Then I call my boy to put bass on it. I was like, this is great, we got a foundation. So I grabbed his vocal and I sampled back in, like, here's what we I was like, alright, we're off to the races, we have a song. Let me just rap now. And then it turned into this. Look, here's what we uh moved to LA, then dye my hair blue. Uh fire up the lobby to stick a glue. Man, y'all do anything to get a million views. Mommy, here's what you uh, slide into my DM with those nudes I wrote back, my wife got those too And I'ma take hers if I had to choose Look, here's what we Buy 10 name brands, spend like 10 thou Wear it all at once, pretend you got style Just cause you paid, don't mean you got taste And here's what we uh, Right guy first in my profile Then live my whole life like Satan, child If anybody say something, now they hating, wow I won't apologize for being who I am Throw shade on me, say a lot about you I won't apologize for if you feel some type of way That's a no can do, no that's on you Pretty girls make the world go round I thought you knew that Coco Chanel with it No, I can't do that Here's what we Pose for the pick when I'm trying to get food Especially I know I'm in a terrible mood And then they go and tell the news I'm a terrible dude Nah, look, here's what we Start throwing my feelings in the timeline Then be mad cause somebody getting shine shine They better back, back it up like Juvie in the 9-9 nine -nine. Now here's what we uh, spend a rent money on brand new J's Go and take a loan from the SBA Just to take a trip down to Miami Day Like Wade, hold up Wonder if they ever gonna change Grow up, I put a gold record in a frame So what, security guards at the game Know us, I'm in my own lane doing donuts Yeah, then I slide And for my A1s, get them A5 Told my J-Lo I ain't going A-Ride Cause I got a playbook that I gotta play by You know I wanna apologize for being who I am Throw shade on me, say a lot about you I won't apologize Cause you feel some type of way That's a no can do, no that's on you Pretty girls make the world go round I thought you knew that Coco Chanel with it No, I can't do Self DJ New York This album just came out 2021, Neverland 2, but some of these songs I've been working on since 2018. So one of the records uh, is another one that's gone through a million iterations. It's called Trying. And what it encap en encompasses for me is uh, waking up every day and trying to be great, trying to reach your potential before time runs out. And um, that's something I struggle with uh, because I never feel like I'm doing enough. And for some people, it looks like I'm doing great, I'm doing plenty, and to myself, I'm always telling me, you know, there's more in the tank, there's more to go, there's more to achieve, there's more to get done. And so I'll let the song do the talking, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I, I got to make this beat, um, and I got to sample a Brooklyn native, uh, Sun Lux. So uh, they're on the intro, and here it goes. What will we do now? We've lost it to trying. We've lost it to trying. Trying. Trying to be content ain't trying to be complacent. Trying to stay grounded while I'm trying to break it. 
Trying to stay motivated, my motor's waning I got invitation to the game, don't wanna overstay it Try and be a great husband, try and be a great artist Try and find inspiration, try and find where the heart is Yeah, I'm trying to blow your mind in speakers Trying to buy it, never lease it Trying to get some time with Jesus Trying to find my genius, trying to hide my secrets Trying to find a reason, trying to trust my ideas Trying to speed the process, trying to stop reading comments Trying to find some confidence I'm trying to be respected, trying to hit the checklist Trying to reach perfection, trying to leave an impression I'm trying to put this phone down for a second I'm trying to check it, I'm trying to live up to everything I expected I'm trying to buy some Bitcoin, trying to buy some loyalty Trying to find producer who want more than just the royalty I'm trying to innovate while everybody trying to imitate I'm trying to make it look like I ain't trying Damn All my life, all I ever did was try I'm just And all my life, all I ever did was try I'm just I'm trying to stop trying to start trusting Trying to stop lusting Trying to stop cussing I Trying to have my name in the top 10 whenever that's in discussion I'm trying to make a major impact with an indie budget I'm trying to be present, trying to be faithful, trying to be grateful, trying to be gracious But they try my patience, I'm trying to be great, trying to find balance Trying to move forward, never go backwards, ain't trying to be average Live a life that matters, trying to outrun sadness, eat more salad Trying to leave my baggage, but I keep on packing Trying to get back in, to the road less travel But I need my map, I delete my apps For a week, then I'll be right back I'm trying to see me in the lack, on the west side highway Do a nine day with the seat, lean way Back, beat in the back, I got baggage, it ain't unpacked I got things that I can't take back Words that I tell myself way worse than the ones when they attack Now, one thing I know is for certain I'm gonna ruin everything, trying to make it perfect My whole life I've been searching For protection, show the blemish, go to exit No affection, show the love, don't finesse it Flesh and blood, not the weapon Load it up, get the message Load it up, get the Wesson Rolling up, codependent And all my life, all I ever did was try I'm just And all my life, all I ever did was try I'm just I think all of us are just trying Everybody, you know, trying to be great Uh trying to be good husbands, fathers, you know, wives, mothers, whatever it is, uh, we're trying the best. The be- we're trying to do the best we can with what we got. And I think that that is the most important piece of it all. That's what my wife always says to me is I'll stress out about something not being perfect or exactly how I want it. And she's like, yo, as long as you're doing the best you can with what you have, you're doing enough. And, um, you know, I think it's really difficult as a as a creator to, you know, we go on – Line. We get on social media and we all we do is play this comparison game for hours and hours and hours. And we see all the people we respect and look up to and how much they're killing it and how effortless they make it look. But it's hard work to make it look easy, right? So I think um, if we get too focused on what other people are doing, what they got going on, it can actually start to rob us of our joy, of our creativity, of making something that's authentic to us. And um, I would also just say this, like, don't sleep on where you are. Don't sleep on um, your lack of resources. You know, I think there's always a a way that we make an excuse for why we're not as successful or don't have as many songs done or whatever. But what I've found is there's just wasted energy in complaining. There's wasted energy in trying to blame something than to just get busy and create with what you have. You know, if all you have is, uh, you know, your iPhone, like try to make the most interesting thing you can with your iPhone or with your laptop or you, you can't afford to buy sounds or whatever the thing is, a lot of times innovation comes out of necessity um, and there's something unique and special. Like I think about how many things were made that are like innovative sounds and, to, and music and it came from limitations. You know, I think about like soul samples, how all the voices of the soul beats were all sped up is because there was only 12 seconds available on a sample machine. And in order to hear all the sample, you had to speed it up and it chipmunked the voice. And now that became a sound, you know? So our limitations um, are oftentimes like 
one of our greatest gifts. And so for everyone who's trying to be great, trying to do their thing, just know that, um, you know, do the best you can with what you got and it's enough. Can the church say amen? Can I get a little help here? There's no crowd in here, so I gotta hype myself up. Andy Minio's in the building, New York. We're back. Th this record is very similar to every other record. And I guess this is my uh, my theme for the evening is don't give up on something that you believe in. Almost every single song that I played for you guys, except for maybe Ben about it, it went through like 10 different iterations. Uh, and so I had this concept, priorities. I was like, that's such a cool word. And that's so like on brand for me is to try to make something cool out of something meaningful. That's something that I, I've tried to do throughout my career. And... Um, I was like, yo, I love that phrase, and I feel like there's so much I should talk about, but I couldn't find the right beat, and so I tried a whole bunch of versions, and uh, finally I connected with Jake and Zach, um, a duo, a brother duo, and we met in New York one day, and they showed me this beat, and I was like, yo, I got a, I got a phrase that might work for this, and uh, it ended up being this record right here called Priorities off Neverland 2. Priorities Like what come first and what come last Like what's right now and what's gon' last I'll get back to you one day if you ain't my day one I don't got time but for you I'll make some cause You know your mind oh. What's on your mind? What come first, what come last Time been moving and it's way too fast But you know your mind I got a little bit of time and got a lot of dreams I can be out of giving everybody everything I really wanna do a phone cause my heart big When I see the wedding ring emoji I don't let it ring Nah me, uh, never really had a problem being bored Always feeling like my day a little too short I still be ballin' when I go show up at the court But now I be getting too gang instead of like four Tell me what's important I've been thinking about the people that I call my core friend I had a guy that I call my best friend my whole life When my mama died, he ain't even slide I just realized, you can't measure love by the time Now I gotta focus on mine I don't hate him, I just gotta reprioritize him I don't got no time for nothing if it's one-sided, huh I don't need no one Always wanna take and they wanna pay for the bottle I don't need no one Always want to take and now want to make no deposit Nah, finally learned how to chill Take a break before I break my mental health I know I'm no good to nobody else If I don't know how to be good to myself Priorities, yeah Like what come first and what come last Like what's right now and what's gonna last I'll get back to you one day if you ain't my day one I don't got time but I'll make some You know your mind yeah, what's on your mind? Hey, like what come first, what come last? Time been moving, man, it's way too fast. You know your mind. Hold up, can't get this time away to no one. Except for you, I need you closer. That's why I'm on my way to you. You to you. So why do I keep on giving the least The people I say that I love the most Shouldn't give anything less than all of my best Instead they be getting what's left over I want 100% from God But only won't give them a quota of me I grab my phone when I woke up this morning I gotta reorder my priorities I need God in my life, yeah Cause we don't be talking enough I give a call when I'm stuck But not when I'm all the way up I think he calling my bluff I said I don't got no time for you We made the time for the things that we love So you tell me what are your priorities Like what come first and what come last Like what's right now and what's gonna last I get back to you one day if you ain't my day one I don't got time but for you I'll make some cuz You know your mind Priorities What's on your mind what come first, what come last Time been moving, man, it's way too fast But you know your mind Yeah! Thank you, Brooklyn! Good night! <laughs> and the video's in the house tonight!
What's going on? It's Andy Minio. This was Creator Sessions. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to keep up with me, I'm at Andy Minio on all socials, uh, TikTok, everywhere your kids are. Uh, you know how to use Google as well, so type my name in. It's pronounced Minio. So that's it. I had a good time. Enjoy yourself, and uh, thanks for rocking with me.